rounding decimals. Sometimes you want to know about how much of something there is instead of the exact number or quantity. For example, if you have $4.93 in your wallet and your friend asks you about how much money you have, you might tell her, I have about $5. Similarly, you probably don't need to know that your house is 2.015 miles from the grocery store. Instead, you might say that the store is about two miles away. Like addition and subtraction, rounding decimals is very similar to rounding whole numbers. Here's what you need to do in three simple steps. Figure out what place you need to round to. Circle that digit if it helps you. Look at the digit right after the one you want to round to. If this digit is five or bigger, round up. Add one to the digit you are rounding to. This is the number you circled. If it's smaller than five, round down. Leave the digit you are rounding to as it is. Get rid of all the numbers to the right of the digit you are rounding to. Question. Round 52.74 to the nearest tenth. Answer. The tenth is the first digit after the decimal point, just to the right of the ones. Let's look at the digit right after it. This digit is smaller than 5, so we leave our tenths digit the same. Finally, we get rid of the numbers to the right of the tenths. Let's try another example. Question. Round 341.902 to the nearest whole number. Answer. We need to round to the nearest whole number or the ones place. Let's look at the digit right after it. The digit is bigger than 5, so we add 1 to our ones digit. Finally, we get rid of the numbers to the right of the ones. Since we don't have any numbers after the decimal point anymore, we can get rid of it, too. Here is the summary of the lesson.